Welcome! In this video, we're going to be going over how to create a sales pipeline. So maybe at your agency is very important for you to be able to keep track of your customer's journey from the prospect stage all the way through to where they are an active client. So how we can set up a sales pipeline would be by setting up a series of dashboard cards. And just as a review, to add a dashboard card, we're going to click the plus sign here. The first one that we're going to create is client. And then we're going to go into our filter settings for dashboard cards. Notice the default here is for prospects, but you do have a variety of different options to show here. And we're going to recommend that you go ahead and set this to 50. That way you can see the maximum amount in here to be able to follow up with these prospects. And then once we have our settings the way that we like this here, we want to change the name of our cards is something that makes more sense based on our settings that we set up here. So I'm gonna change the title of this to prospects, but whatever makes more sense to you, you can by all means change your dashboard card to that. The next card that we're gonna create is a quote card. And in this one, we're gonna change this one to pending quotes. And we want, for this example, policies where I am the user or producer, I'm gonna take off any other filters here, just so we are showing the maximum amount here and we're getting the maximum amount of results here. But of course you could set up whatever filters you like here. Best recommendation is if there's ever a dashboard card that's not showing you what you're wanting to see, you wanna always go back and look at the filters just to make sure that those did not get too specific. But we set that up. I'm going to go back and change the title here to pending quotes so I'll know exactly what is in my dashboard card here. Next card that we're going to create is another quote card. And in this one, we're going to leave the status as quoted and leave it on policies for this example where I'm the user or producer. But of course, you could change this to something else, whatever you want in here. And best recommendation in here would be last 60 days because generally speaking can sometimes take 60 days to get the policy ready to bind just depending on what type of policy it is and again we can change the number to show here so that is how you set up your dashboard cards to form a sales pipeline to track our client's journey so some recommendations here so if there's something that is not showing up for you that you think should be there on a dashboard card, one recommendation would be to come in to look at client status. So we wanna pay close attention to what is in here. So if they're not showing up as an active client, we wanna check what their status is as a client and also what the policy status says. So we can go into our policy and just make sure that it's showing quoted or pending quote or whatever is accurate for that policy, just to make sure that those do get reflected correctly in our dashboard cards. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys. By all means, please reach out if you have any questions.